Hi everyone, thanks so much for joining me on this video. We are going to be sharing another area guide about a fabulous part of London that you don't want to miss. We're going to be in South Kensington, so let's get started. Hi everyone, thanks so much for checking me out again on another episode of my YouTube channel. I'm Ugo Renze with Onyx Property Team and Keller Williams. I am a London-based property agent. I love helping my clients buy, sell, rent, and manage property throughout the city. Um, I work with a lot of international buyers as well as people here who are here in the UK. And part of my YouTube channel is really just to show off um, London in terms of life and culture and lifestyle, but also share with you um, tips and information and updates about the London property market. So if it's your new time, I hope if you like this video, you will subscribe and hit that notification bell because we put out weekly videos. Also, if you ever need to reach me or you have questions about um, the London property market thank you for I've gotten so many clients from my YouTube channel so don't ever be afraid to reach out if you're thinking about London or don't uh, know where to start and you're thinking about investing I would definitely be happy to have a conversation so obviously if you are thinking about London or trying to get more familiar with it it's really important that you know where you might want to live and so the area guides are really to try to feature um, some popular areas but actually some areas that you might not uh, have heard of before but in this video we we're talking about South Kensington which definitely ranks among most international buyers you know will definitely top their list of places where they would love to live if they can afford it and so let's dive in as to what makes South Kensington so special so South Kensington is one of the most affluent and prestigious areas of London it borders Knightsbridge Kensington and Chelsea located kind of in southwest London and it's really known not just for its gorgeous housing but an incredible location for art lifestyle and culture let's start off with culture and I couldn't share um, South Kensington with you if I didn't talk about its cultural scene and one of the things that makes it so special are some of the museums that are located in South Kensington including my absolute favorite which is the V&A Museum it's a great museum for textiles and design and just really art and culture, not just really about paintings. It houses a permanent collection of over 2.27 million objects. And what's great about the location is it's on Exhibition Road along with the Natural History Museum. So if you love our planet and want to learn more about the planet, the Natural History Museum is also an incredibly gorgeous building. Um, and you can check that out nearby as well and it's actually a great skating rink ice skating rink in the winter time as well and then it's also got the science museum which is a great hands-on location for families and young kids and so all three are located on exhibition road so at one end of exhibition road you start out at south kensington tube station at the other end you end up at hyde park and also nearby is the Royal Albert Concert Hall, which is an incredible premium uh, venue for um, live performances. So again, just in a really small, tight area, you've got some incredible museums, you've got the restaurants around South Kensington Station, and you've got Hyde Park. Another great reason that South Kensington is so popular is that it's got a really strong concentration for the French community. I think it's actually one of the largest French populations outside of France. If you're strolling along Butte Street, you'll find yourself in Petit Paris, actually. You've also got the Institut Francais and Cinéma uh, Lumière, which will make the French Francophile feel very much at home. You've also got the Lycée Francais Charles de Gaulle, which is a primary and secondary school, French day school, if you want your young people immersed in French culture. Along the way, you've got other French little pastries and bistros and things like that around as well. If you're looking for shopping, South Kensington's got too many fabulous boutique uh, shops to name. So let's highlight some of the um, mega stars of the area. South Kensington is really right next to Knightsbridge, so you've got access to Harrods, which is you know one of the world's most famous um, uh, shops. And in there, you've got over a million square feet across seven floors, where you can really spend an entire day um, in this shopping haven. 
Harris also has an incredible food hall where you can really get lovely pastries and dishes and things like that from around the world. You've also got um, famous British retailer Harvey Nichols nearby, which was founded in 1831, and that's an incredible uh, luxury retail store as well. And then if you browse along Old Brompton Road or Sloan Street, you are going to have probably uh, the largest collection of luxury retailers who have their own dedicated stores as well. Back talking about schools, we've already mentioned the Lycée Francais Charles de Gaulle, which is London's largest French co-educational primary and secondary school. But you've also got Imperial College, which is a premier research university based in South Kensington. The college focuses exclusively on science, technology, medicine, and business. Next, we are going to talk about restaurants. And again, South Kensington has so much to offer. It's got uh, everything from quirky Prohibition-inspired underground cocktail bar called Nocturne to the family-friendly Casa Brindisi, a Spanish tapas restaurant with a warm, comforting feel. For high-end experience, you can visit Claude Bossy at Babendum, which is in the iconic Michelin house. You've also got Daphne's, which underwent a refurbishment in 2014. It's a beautiful interior space, including its conservatory, which really feels like an Italian garden, and it just serves up the most wonderful Italian food. We'll also mention Hummingbird Bakery, Bumpkin, and Star of India as additional local favorites. For places to drink, we're going to mention Eclipse, the South Kensington Club, Duke of Clarence, and Albert Club, as well as Margot. But don't worry to write this all down because we'll definitely include links in what we mention in the show notes. Green Space, South Kensington is also truly blessed. You've got Hyde Park, as I mentioned, which is moments away. You've also got Kensington Garden, which has a range of little gardens within it, memorials like the Albert Memorial, cycling tracks, walking paths, ponds and of course Kensington Palace. Located within the Kensington Gardens you've also got the Serpentine Galleries which are each connected by a bridge over the Serpentine Lake. If you're into contemporary art then this is definitely the place for you. For housing South Kensington is defined by grade 2 listed white stucco fronted homes. You've also got some gorgeous Georgian red brick mansion blocks Muse houses and Victorian terraces which surround the area around South Kensington Station and Gloucester Road Tube Station. Many of the six and seven story terraces of the large houses of the area are now divided into flats and masonettes with beautiful private gardens. There's also purpose built mansion blocks and flats with some smaller houses as well. Property prices in the area have actually fallen over an average of 6.13% over the last 12 months and are down 17.7% lower than they were five years ago. This has been mainly been a result of um, Brexit as well as most recently COVID. However, for the third quarter 2021, according to Lonres, there have been a 4.8% increase in achieved prices year on year, but transaction volume is down 20%. Average achieved price per square foot is 1,628 pounds. Properties sold in the last three months have achieved an average price of 2,071,346 for flats, and 4,340,222 for houses. So I hope you liked this video and you got a better sense as to what makes South Kensington so special, whether it's the restaurants, the housing, the shops, the location, um, and the green space, there's definitely a lot to offer. If you want to know more about South Kensington or other areas of London, uh, we are definitely, we've got some area guides available and we'll include the link in the show notes. If you like this video, I hope you'll hit that like button to let the, uh, YouTube know I'm doing a great job and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check out my other videos on my YouTube channel where I share great tips and information about the London property market and living in this fabulous city. So that's Ugo Renze with Onyx Property Team and Keller Williams. Bye for now.